I don't have a baby to knit for anymore, let alone a baby girl, but I am so glad I picked up Mom and Me Knits by Stephanie Jappel. I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle, and this book is the latest addition to my sewing room bookshelf. I found this one at, of all places, the Dollar Tree. And I don't know, I picked it up thinking that it was a really pretty book and that maybe I could knit some baby sweaters and donate them to the local pregnancy center. I didn't look, I looked at the baby sweaters and I thought that they were cute, but now I am so glad I bought this because there are sweaters in here I want to make for me. The whole baby thing is out the window. There is a lot I like about this book. And let's start with the projects because they are what make me happy. This is the lace cardigan. This is mom's version. And this is baby's version. Just look at how stinking cute those are. This is surfer tee. Some of these I will comment that the pictures, when they're great, they're great. When they're missing, they're missing. And this book does include patterns for both. The baby sweaters range from three months to 24 months. And then there are kid sizes that go from, I think, size four to size 10. Okay, this one is the Erin coat. This is baby's version. And I think this is mother's Erin coat. But the way it's hanging on the door it, it must be the extra small. The women's sizes in here go from extra small to extra, extra large. Here's the classic cardigan. Most of these are top down and knit, par at least partially in the round. Not my favorite. The mom's version. I love the baby. I don't personally love how it translates to an adult size. These are the ladylike cardigan and... Can you see the detail in the lower half of the mom sweater? The author is, I think, trying to get past the girls wear pink stereotype. And the subtitle of this book is, It is 20 Pretty Projects for Mothers and Daughters. So if you have boys, you're out of luck. The Library Cardigan, I like this one. This is another one that I think I want for me. And where is, okay, this is the child's library cardigan. See, on the child sizes with the pictures, if you're flipping quickly, sometimes the largest child size and the smallest mom size, I don't think there's a lot of difference. The halter top comes for the child and a doll. I think it's the only pattern that doesn't have one for mom. And this is the Puebla top. There's mother's Puebla top. And there are emergency vehicles out on the highway. Artist's vest. It's the weekend as I'm filming this. We may have, I hope that was the only one because that means it'll be less significant of a whatever they're at to do. And then this one is the shawlette and scarf. So there's the halter top and the shawl. There's the scarf. And then there are eight sweater pairs. I really like this book. My only complaint, it's got easy to read charts. The instructions look clear, although I've not knit anything from it for myself yet. The yarns are by name only, so she does not hold your hand when it comes to yarn substitutions, and these do seem like they're knit in higher end yarns, at least compared to the craft store stuff I work with. So if you're gonna make substitution, you're gonna have to do a little homework to figure out what compares to the called for yarn. And I do think because most of these start top down with the raglan sleeves, at least the ones I wanna knit, they're, they look like they'll be adaptable. I want to take that first cardigan and see if maybe I can get it to work with a little heavier weight yarn because that's what I have in my stash. Might be beyond my skill level. I don't know. 
but I like the book. I think it would be a fun book to work your way through if you were a new mom who knew how to knit or a good gift for a new mom who knows how to knit. I like that the sizes go up to size 10 so you're not racing the clock like you would be if they were just cutesy little newborn sweaters. I'd recommend this one. I'm glad I got it. Like I said, I found it at the Dollar Tree. I checked. It is still in print. So you should be able to get your hands on it fairly easily. I, w I wish I'd knit when my baby girl was little. I would have had such a blast with something like this. I'm Michelle. This is my Romantic Tangle. Thank you for watching and I'll be back with more videos for you soon.